Today we're going to be looking at Rule 25, Sailing Vessels Underway and Vessels Under Oars. Go straight into the first paragraph which says Sailing Vessels Underway shall exhibit side lights and a stern light. You notice there's no masthead light here for sailing vessels. Let's take a look at a diagram and see what that looks like. So this image simply is a vessel under sail seen from above and we know she's got to exhibit those side lights and a stern light. Paragraph B then simply says if you're less than 20 metres in length you can combine all those lights into a single lantern and carry it at or near the top of the mast where it can best be seen. So back on the image that we can see from before you can see that the sectors of these lights actually all intersect at set points. So you can combine them all together on a single lantern and carry it at or near the top of the mast if you are less than 20 metres in length. Paragraph C then goes on to say, if you're showing those lights from the first paragraph, which is the side lights and a stern light that are separate, you may show an all-round red light over an all-round green light, at the top of your mast of course but you can't show those all round lights if you've chosen to combine the side lights and stern lights in a single lantern at the top of the mast. This actually makes perfect sense. You can't have two different sets of lights at the top of the mast. If you've got your side lights and stern lights separate, you can show these all round lights. So now we're back to this first diagram where we've got the side lights and the stern lights separate on the vessel. In this case, we can show those two all round lights, the red over the green, because there's nothing else at the top of the mast. If we remove those and we've combined the others into the lantern, we've got no more space at the top of the mast, so we cannot show the red over green. Simple word association you can use is red over green is a sailing machine. Just a simple way to remember the red goes above the green on a sailing vessel. Next paragraph, we go on to say, if you're less than seven meters, you shall, if practicable, exhibit the lights in paragraph A or B. So these are the side lights and stern lights either separate or combined in a single lantern. But if that's not practicable and you don't show them, you need to have ready at hand an electric torch or lighted lantern showing a white light, which you need to exhibit in sufficient time to prevent a collision. So this paragraph very much explains itself. One thing worth mentioning is that electric torch, if you're trying to attract somebody's attention, please don't shine it at the bridge of another vessel, because of course it's going to be night time and you don't want to interrupt the night vision of the person whose attention you're trying to grab. A good thing to do, maybe shine it up at your sails so that you've just got a bright white light there that they can easily see. Then a vessel under oars may exhibit the lights for sailing vessels, but if she doesn't, she needs to have that electric torch or lighted lantern showing a white light which can be exhibited in sufficient time to prevent a collision. And then this final paragraph just says if you're proceeding under sail and also propelled by machinery, also known as motor sailing, you need to exhibit forward where it can best be seen a conical shape, well just a cone, apex downwards. And this tells other vessels that although you've got your sails up and you look like a sailing vessel, actually your engine is running and you need to comply with the rules as a power driven vessel because you're being propelled by machinery. And that brings us to the end of rule 25. Hopefully you found the information useful. Until next time, thank you for watching. Goodbye.